G'day, welcome to Matt's Workshop. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Z-axis focus sensor, which is a sensor used for autofocus on the CO2 laser. Now, in order for this sensor to work, the controller must be able to control the Z up and Z down. So an automatic lifting bed platform with the up and down arrows on the controller. With this machine, however, we need to use the side buttons, the raise and lower the bed. Now, because the machine doesn't have that automatic function, in order to get it to function, I would need to replace the, the motor, the Z motor with a stepper motor, which would also include the need for a stepper driver and then connect it through into the controller. So because my machine isn't able to use this in its current setup, I'm gonna head down to another machine and install it on that one where the Z up and Z down are controlled by the control panel. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is mount the Z-axis sensor switch on this laser tube. So we'll just remove that laser tube. The laser machine is off. Slide this down the tube so that it rests on the bottom of the laser lens mount here. And then just slide the lens tube back in bringing it all the way to the top and lock that in place. Now we need to position this laser, uh, this switch pen where it's not going to knock on anything. So we're just going to mount it on the side here to start with and tighten it up, making sure it's nice and secure. We'll position this shortly and um, do some testing but what we'll do first is run all the cables. So to open up the channel rails you can unclip the clips on the side and this helps you feed the wires into the uh, cable chain. So what I've done is ran some extra cable through the rails and we're going to solder these together onto that new extra extension cable. So this smaller cable chain doesn't pop open so we're going to have to manually feed that through. Just going to put a bit of electrical tape on there to protect the ends. And now that we've run the cable through the cable chain we can now solder these together. So what you want to do is make sure that this cable is secure. So we just use a cable tie up here. Always bear in mind that the laser beam passes through this here to the third mirror. So we want to make sure that this stays out of the way of that mirror while it's moving. Okay, so we're looking at connector three here. Now the wires that we ran down from the sensor switch, pop a wiring diagram up on the screen. The black cable goes into pin four, the brown cable goes into pin six, and the blue cable goes into pin number one. So we've got the controller wired up to the Z-axis sensor here. We're now just going to power on the machine. Before we go too far, we want to make sure that the pen is not going to hit in any location on the laser bed. So we'll just let it finish home. And we're going to move it around the entire work area, making sure that it's not going to hit. So there's no chance it's going to hit up the top. Now over the side over here, it does get close. So that will be the same all the way down this side. Just bring it all the way to the front. And that's the limit there. So there's no chance it's going to hit there when the machine's in operation. And there's no chance it's going to hit on this side because the pen is located on the uh, left hand side of that laser uh, lens tube so we're safe on this side as well. So 
So you'll notice that I've got the laser lens tube all the way up to the top. So what I'm going to do now is just lower it and we're going to do the same test again just to make sure that if the laser head was in that position that it still wouldn't hit anything. We'll just do this one a little bit slower. Okay, it does hit just in that location. So we don't want to wipe out the uh, laser, uh, the switch pen. So what we want to do is make sure that we position it correctly on the laser tube. So what I'm doing here now is just repositioning the Z-axis focus switch so that it's not so much uh, 90 degree with the rail but 45 degree with the rail. Also making sure that it's not going to rub on the rail when the laser head is moving just so that it's in a safer position. So you can see the position that I've um, put it in is probably about 45 degree angle to the, uh, the carriage rail here. Okay, so I've just repositioned the Z-axis switch pen here, which will just give us that little bit of extra clearance. So if we move the laser head right to the end now, just nice and slow. And that's at its maximum um, travel distance, and we still have a good clearance there. It is important if you install it on your machine to make sure that it's not going to crash into the sides of the machine when you're actually running a job. But the safest position for it would be with this nozzle all the way to the top. That way there's no chance it's going to hit into anything. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is show you how to set the distance between the Z-axis focus sensor and the laser head. So I put the honeycomb table in so that we can work with small pieces of material. So this piece here we're going to use as the material that we want to cut. So the first thing that you would do is focus your laser head to the normal distance that you would focus it on that piece of material. So in this case we're using 8 millimeters as our focus distance. So now what I want to do is put on another 3 mil. I want to gap so that the laser focusing pen doesn't run across the material when the after the laser has been focused. So we've got a three mil gap here and what we're going to do is double check we've got our eight mil gap for our laser head. Now we're going to go to the control panel and we're going to set that to the three mil gap. Okay to set the Z focus sensor in the controller we click on menu and we go into user setting. Scroll down to focusing and then click the arrow across to focus and we're going to set this focus to three millimeters. And then make sure that you write that to the controller board pressing right and then escaping out and now we're ready to press the autofocus button. And you can see the machine is focused three millimeters off the pen. So what I want to do now is just show you how to make these changes in RD Works. So if you don't have a RDC 6445 and you have like the 6442 or another Ruida controller and you want to change these focus settings, the way you do that is you go into user, go down to the other option and you can see here it's got focusing parameter. So what we actually need to do is get the correct details from the controller first. So we go read from the controller. And you can see that the focus depth is actually set at zero. So this focus depth is the distance that we want the focus pen to be from the work material after it's been focused. So the material will go up, touch the pen and then retract down. And in our example, we had it set at three millimeters. So we'll put here three millimeters and then we need to write that back to the controller by pressing right. So if you want a greater distance between the focus pen and the workpiece after it's done its focus, obviously you just adjust those to suit your requirements. So thanks for visiting Matt's workshop. 
That's all I've got for you today. We've installed that Z-axis focus sensor on that machine and it's working really well. Maybe in the future I'll upgrade the motor for the Z-axis on this machine to a stepper motor and a stepper driver, connect it through to the control panel so I can have an autofocus on this machine as well. It is something that I wouldn't mind doing, but it's not a high priority on my list. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and if you want to be notified of new videos as I release them, press the subscribe button and the notification bell. In the description below you'll find a link to Cloud Ray Laser's website where you can get one of these autofocus sensors for yourself. Until next time, take care. Cheers.